Ever wonder how all the electronics and technology work on the vehicles we sell? I heard from a friend of mine, they use lines of code. Line of code? What's that? So I checked with our resident service expert, and this is what I learned. Lines of code are known as source code of a computer program, and one line may generate one machine instruction. A line of code in assembly language is typically turned into one machine instruction that generates a series of assembly language instructions, which results in multiple instructions. Wow! So it's the lines of code that tell our vehicle how and when to work. Here's something to think about. A Boeing 787 has 6.5 million lines of code in its onboard computer system. That's a lot of lines of code. And that's a lot of opportunities for a corrupt code or a failure. Could you imagine how much a service contract would cost on a Dreamliner? The most recent Top Gun movie, Maverick, featured a highly sophisticated fighter jet of today with an impressive operating system that's made up of over 25 million lines of code. In fact, the US Army Future Combat System uses more than 63 million lines of code to protect our country. Now what's really amazing is that our average new high-tech modern vehicles have over 100 million lines of code. With more than 30 onboard computer systems, get this, the manufacturer said many of these lines of codes are what's called mission critical. In other words, they operate complex safety features like accident avoidance, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist features, airbags, and even seat belts. The thing is, how do you do maintenance on a line of code? I know how to do maintenance on an internal combustion engine. We've been building them for 100 years. You change the oil. I know how to do maintenance on a transmission or even on brakes. But how do you do maintenance on a line of code? In fact, the only way to make lines of code work better or last longer is to hope that it does. So when one of these millions of lines of code fails, our customers need a vehicle service contract to help pay for that repair and provide them with the ownership experience they've come to expect in our modern vehicles of today. Thanks for watching. I'm Trent White with the Automotive Training Academy, and that was your tip of the week.